check it out. This video is brought to you by Sam Oster, one of my generous supporters on Patreon. Sam said I should get some booze action popping off in Tokyo, and to be honest, I thought it was a real good idea. So I cruised on down to the Abe Sue Beer Museum. What's Abe Sue, you ask? It's pretty much a buck wild beer brand from Tokyo, one of the oldest in Japan and one of my personal favorites. Granted, I'm more of a micro-brewed beer guy myself, but when it comes to the old school Japanese beer companies, Abe Sue is hard to beat. I mean, not only do they have a reputation for using higher quality ingredients than the other Japanese big beer brands, but on top of that, their beer is named after a fucking sick ass Japanese mythical fisherman god from ancient times. Apparently that god's the patron of good luck and working men. Nice fucking god right there. Anyway, I cruised around the museum zone for a while, learning some buck wild beer history. Apparently the brewery was started in 1890 at a time when a shitload of breweries were springing up all over the place in Japan. Now most of those breweries pretty much sucked the big red dick. I guess they were all making pretty sorry excuses for beer, but Abesu on the other hand, they made a name for themselves, baby. Basically Abesu hired this buck wild brewmaster from Germany, he brought over some legit equipment and processes, and they learned how to make some real good beer. That's a pretty fucking heartwarming tale right there, but to be honest, I have a funny feeling Abe who didn't succeed on high quality beer alone. I think they also had some sick ass marketing popping off. I mean, not only did they choose a fisherman god for their mascot, but they also have some sexy ass geisha honeys selling their beer. I mean, just look at these smoking hot geishas. Makes me want to chug an Abesu right now. Truth be told, these geisha girl posters are getting me aroused out of my mind. And holy shit, these geisha girls are whipping me up into a frenzy of beer anticipation. This ingenious marketing scheme has awakened some kind of primal masculine urge and now I feel the insatiable desire to slam a beer back. So enough with this museum memorabilia bullshit. I figure once you've read one plaque, you've pretty much read them all. So I decided to hightail it over to the beer tasting zone. Now they've got six varieties of Abe Sue available. They've got Perfect Abe Sue, which is very similar to the original. Then they've got Kohaku Abe Sue, which is a red ale. Next they've got a premium black and a stout. Then they have premium mix, which is basically just a mixture of their creamy stout and their original. And last, they have original cocktail. Now I had a pretty fucking hard time figuring out the difference between perfect Abe Sue and original cocktail. I think they're pretty much the same except the quote unquote perfect version is held to higher quality and temperature restrictions and it's extremely rare to come across. Anyway, I was hoping I could buy some kind of beer sampler here, but apparently you have to buy full-size beers, so I figure I'll get two. So I guess you can't actually pay at the bar, you have to pay at this fucking vending machine, you jam your money deep inside, and you get some kind of weird-ass tokens in return. Nice fucking token right there. Anyway, I cruised on over to the bar and gave my tokens to the beer maestros. Ordered myself a perfect Abe Sue and a creamy stout, and to be honest, I'm getting real excited to try them out. I can see that dude poured out that perfect Abe Sue like a boss player. Obviously, it ain't his first time around the block, that's for damn sure. Looks like we got some top-notch beer maestros popping off in this bitch. These fucking guys ain't playing, that's all I can say. Anyway, I got my two beers on deck. So let me take these puppies to a seat and try them out. Now I'm guessing the perfect Abesu will be the weaker of the two beers, so I figure I'll try this one out first. So here we go. Wow, pretty fucking crisp beer right there. How can I explain it? It's got kind of a slightly bitter initial taste followed by a smooth finish. Let me try it again, get a second data point here. Yeah, it kind of tastes like a weak pilsner to me. I mean, I don't know exactly. I'm not a beer aficionado or anything, but... Well, whatever the fuck it is, it tastes pretty damn good. It's a pretty smooth beer right there. I feel like I could chug this thing like a wild man if need be. Anyway, next up is time to try out the Abe Sue Stout. Personally, I'm a pretty big fan of dark beers, so I'm pretty excited to try out this beer. 
borderline aroused, to be honest. So let me slam it back. And wow, they're not lying with that whole creamy top thing. That is one creamy fucking beer right there. It has like a mild initial smoky flavor, but then after that it's creamy as hell. Yep, I would say compared to most stouts I'm used to, it has a milder flavor. But man, that creamy taste at the end is super good. Usually dark beers are the kind of beers you'd take your time drinking, but this beer, I think I could chug it like a wild man possessed. Yeah, so overall I'd say I like both of these beers a lot. A real fucking lot. Anyway, now it's time for me to chug these beers and get the hell out of here. So thanks for watching. Why don't you leave a comment? Let me know what you think.